Now, a relationship dilemma for you. Radio 1 DJ Ricky Haywood Williams has revealed that his partner cheated on him with Dwayne The Rock Johnson in her dreams. In her dreams. No, literally, <laughs> literally, it was in her dreams. But the thing is, Katie, would you tell your partner? I, I mean, I think everyone dream cheats, don't they? Oh, it's just me. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Awkward. Uh, no, I think you can't control what you dream. But you can control when to know how to keep it zipped and not tell anybody. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I, I think it's fine. I would be more worried about the motive behind telling your partner about what you dream about. Oh, yes. Because, you know, I, what, what would be the reason you'd be telling I know, them you that? wake up in the morning and say, oh, I had a really sexy dream last night with somebody else. I mean, how's well, that no, going to go? And why, though? It, why is it in your head in the first place? That's what I'd worry about. Like, why that specific person? Oh. And then what are you actually doing? You I know what I mean? Like, how far are you going? I always dream about people I work with. <laughs> It'll what? be you tomorrow night. I'll dream of. <laughs> oh my God! Oh. Oh. Whoever, whoever Can you... I just say throuple? <laughs> <laughs> Whoever I'm interacted with is more likely to be in my dreams, I think, I, because you're thinking about them. I think we're trying to make too much sense of dreams, which are notorious for being off the scale, like unusual. When you, when you wake up from a dream, you go, you won't believe it. I was in, I was in my house, but it wasn't my house. And I was with you, but it wasn't you. you, you do all... Are you trying to justify Simon not... the Bond? <laughs> Are you trying to justify Simon <laughs> So I tell these girls, and I swear, Adnan, I'm not telling you anything anymore. I said, when I was 17, I had this relationship in my dreams with Simon the Bond, and it went over four or five nights. I believed it was happening, but then obviously I kept waking up. Yeah. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> Right, I'm sorry, this is getting far. It's out of hand. So I'm say what I'm saying, what my point of this is, I don't know what I get up to in my dreams, right? Oh. Who does? But Who does oh, know what they get? Can I enter into this? Oh, okay, mm, shouldn't have said that. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what about daydreams? Because <laughs> you have more control over your daydreams. Do have you? Come on, Kelly. Have you never just whiled away the odd hour <laughs> having a little bit of a daydream about somebody who's not your partner? <laughs> A nervous laugh. <laughs> <laughs> on the spot. <laughs> on the spot. Look at the body language here. <laughs> so <they're actually> <laughs> no, I don't think I'd even tell. I would never tell them if, like, I had. I'm not or... asking you that. I'm asking you <laughs> if you've done it. <laughs> Why did I come on this show? <laughs> 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 have you done it? Yes, yeah, of course yeah. you have. No, really? And I but think every single person <laughs> has. Yeah, yeah, you're so no, are you are you Are you allowed to fantasise? That's what you're well, saying. Well, if you're not in a relationship, then you can fantasise about anyone. I mean, let's face it, and dream night and dream everything. When you're not with someone, it's if you're with someone, Kay. That that's you're not the question. I don't think that's, Kay. I think that's true. I think you'd be free to think what you want. Just don't act on it. <laughs> yeah. don't tell them. It's your Run dreams, wild. everybody. <laughs> it's in your dreams. This is not happening for real. <laughs> if you're going to close your eyes and go to sleep no, with you're a nightmare today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Simon Le Bon, Simon Le Bon, Simon Le Bon. <laughs> now, well, we're moving on now. I'm, we're warming up. We're talking about sharing your partner. <laughs> Thrupples! Uh, boxer David Hay has appeared to confirm that he is in a thruple, or a threeple, as Sinatra would rather oh, call it, uh, with girlfriend Shan Osborne and former Saturday singer Una Healy. Uh, he posted these pictures to celebrate Valentine's Day, there you go, uh, writing in the caption, happy Valentine's to the beautiful queens of my life, making my world a better place to live in. So there you go. Life wow. in a thruple, Kelly. What wow. should I that? I mean, I can't get over the fact, because he's an Olympic champion, isn't he? I can't kind So of... are you? Maybe it's a thing? No, you but... <laughs> Could be. <laughs> OK. <laughs> if no. you had to choose two of us, who would it be? <laughs> <laughs> um, you, know, you know I've got a soft spot for you yeah, anyway. Know, yeah, you know I've got a soft spot for you. Yeah, well, I get so to choose the third one. I'll, I'll be in your dreams right. and they can be a throttle. How about that? <laughs> Let's go for a thruple. Yeah, let's go for a thruple, <laughs> thumble. Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I couldn't do it. I personally couldn't do it. Like, mm. I don't know. I feel je I'd probably feel jealous. I'd be thinking about that person being with the other one at certain times when I want to be with them. I mean, what happens Valentine's Day? Do they all do... I suppose they all do Valentine's Day together, do they? I don't get the concept. That's just my personal thing. I don't think it's wrong, right? I don't know. Katie's very Good liberal. Luck. Uh, but we yeah, I totally get the concept. Do you and, talk yeah, yeah. We, and I, yes, and I think, Katie. You know, I really admire um, <laughs> Una. She's been through quite a painful uh, breakup yeah. in her marriage, the father of her children, and um, you know, 
I would see an arrangement like this, where everything's laid out on the table. I, mean, I would rather be in a thruple than be lied to and cheated on. So, you know, if I met somebody that said, look, I, I can't be of one person, but I can be of two, and are you happy to do that? And it's consenting. I think they're obviously having a great time. They're not hurting anybody. Um, and maybe if you've already had children and you don't want a long-term yeah. relationship and more kids, it suits where you're at in your life. So I get that. I mean, let me join the bit... thruple and make it a quadruple. <laughs> no, I, do feel... <laughs> I, feel... I think that's a addition piece, actually. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like that, that, that's if you're happy to sit in a quite a superficial relationship and yeah, like yeah. friends with benefits, for example. If you yeah. want to have something truly intimate and deep where you feel connected and trusted, mm. I think it's very hard to know which bits. When's your turn to step aside to let somebody else, you know, because we're so used to trying <clears> to be uh, as honest as we can be with our partners. I think mm. trying to do that in a three, in a, with three people, yeah. is that, does that mean that the two women are also in a relationship with each other or are they just in a relationship with the man? You know, it kind, it kind of re But if you just want fun... And, and you're not course, looking it, for that. If it's, like I say, if it's on a more superficial level, I think this is probably a really... And it might not always be it... sexual as well. You know, we don't know the extent of relationship. I mean, I'm mm. assuming it is. Um, but, you know, that extent of that relationship, one might not be that sexual, might, one might be that they just really get on. Mm. I mean, it, the world's changed, doesn't it? It certainly Intellect has. is sexual yeah. in one way. Emotion mm. is very kind of given, so... I can't, wait. I can't wait for my dreams tonight, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be very busy in my head. <laughs>